In this video, we are going to evaluate the following series. All terms in the series are fractions. We start from one third, and then for the nth term, the numerator is the nth odd number, and, and the denominator is the product of the first n positive integers that are of the form 4k plus 3, which means the numbers that are one less than a multiple of 4. Before we move on, don't forget to give a like, subscribe to my channel, and turn on post notifications. This is an infinite series problem suggested by a viewer. It's not from any open contest, so at first I wasn't completely sure where the answer actually exists. But if an answer does exist, then it's very likely that it's some sort of teles telescoping sum. As in there is a general method for us to write each term into a difference of some numbers, and those terms we eventually cancel out so that we only need to calculate something that is much easier. One very famous example would be this. Adding 1 over 1 times 2 by 1 over 2 times 3 by 1 over 3 times 4, all the way up to 1 over 100 times 101. By writing each term into different subfractions, say the first one is equal to 1 over 1 minus 1 over 2, and then the second term is equal to 1 half minus 1 third, and so on. And the last term is 1 over 100 minus 1 over 101. Then the middle terms will cancel out. And so what remains is just 1 over 1, 1 minus 1 over 101. And the sum becomes very easy. Now back to the main problem. So we can see that the denominator of each term is that of the previous term times an extra number. So say this term is 3 times 7 times 11, and then you can see the same thing at the next term, and then multiplying by extra 15. So we can see that the denominator grows really quickly. So we might consider the difference of 1 over each of these two numbers. For example, 1 third minus 1 over 3 times 7, 1 over 3 times 7 minus 1 over 3 times 7 times 11, and so on. Because if we do these kind of subtraction, then we do not have then the difference between the two numbers here will not be too large, and so we do not have to multiply um, num a factor that is um, a very, very large number so to compensate the difference. So, say for the first subtraction, I only, need, I only need to multiply a 7 on the first term, so that becomes 7 over 3 times 7 minus 1 over 3 times 7. Imagine if I try to um, consider a difference of 1 third and 1 over 3 times 7 times 11 times 15, then I'll have to multiply a factor of 7 times 11 times 15 on the first fraction, and that will make it very large and, and it's not convenient for uh, computation. So if I subtract this fraction, I will get 6 over 3 times 7. Let's keep it that way, we don't simplify the fraction. Now, for the second part, I just need to multiply a factor of 11 on both numerator and denominator of the first fraction. So it goes like this. And the difference equals 10 over 3 times 7 times 11. While for the third, subtraction, I'll get 14 over 3 times 7 times 11 times 15. Now, the magic is, somehow, the 6 is just double of this term, while this is just double of the third term, and for the next one, it's double of the following term. So that means, we can actually rewrite the terms in our original series. Say, for example, 3 over 3 times 7 is equal to 1 half of the difference of 1 third and 1 over 3 times 7. And then 5 over 3 times 7 times 11 is 1 half of 
1 over 3 times 7 minus 1 over 3 times 7 times 11 and so on. And you may notice that this is actually some sort of telescoping sum. So you can see that these terms will cancel out and so on. So that means, well, uh, before I really go to the answer, although I suppose most of you should know the answer by now, let me still write this kind of in a general form. So in fact, for the terms in our sequence, which means from this column, for the nth term, is the nth odd number, so that's 2n minus 1. And then for the denominator, is the product of the first n numbers that have of the form 4k plus 3. So it's the product of the, four, of the first um, n terms. And the general term should be 4k minus 1. Now for this, I'm going to claim that 1 half of the product of the first a minus 1 terms of this form, 4k minus 1, minus 1 over multiply the first four, the first n terms of the form 4k minus 1 is going to be equal to the general term of our series. So to do this, we notice that these two are really close. It's just by a factor of 4n minus 1. So the numerator becomes 4n minus 1 minus 1 over the larger product. And so simplifying, we immediately get The general term we have in our problem. Now that justifies that I can use this kind of general method to split each term into different subfractions. So this kind of cancellation should go forever. Now that from this we can say we can safely say to conclude that our final answer is just the first term 1 over 3 because these kind of um, um, uh, splitting and the telescoping sums only apply from, from the second term to the end, up to infinity. So we've actually ignored the first term, so we add them back, one third plus a half times one over three, and all other terms would cancel out as the sum goes to infinity. And for this part, it's very easy, it should be one half. So this is our final answer.